What's up guys? Um, welcome back for another weekend of fun. Uh, this weekend we got parts. So we got uh, just about everything we need. Uh, a bunch of little random stuff. Our intercooler, our charge pipe. Got some nifty little elbows we're gonna do some cool stuff with uh, here. Um, so that's where we're gonna start today. All right, so my goal this weekend, or not this weekend, just today really, um, is to get the intercooler uh, mounted. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna put some little elbows on it, uh, but I don't wanna do that until I have it kind of where it's gonna sit. Um, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, you know, for a day's worth of work, but once you start making little custom brackets and supporting things and, you know, it, it gets to be kind of time consuming, um, especially when you're not just, you know, throwing it up there and zip tying it. Um, so, let me show you what I got planned. Don't know if it'll go this way or not. You know, it works out how it works out. Uh, but I'll show you what I got planned um, and then maybe we can start jiving on it. So the intercooler is going to go right here. Um, and the one I picked out has the in tanks come out in the middle. Um, so the in tanks should, the, the outlet, inlet and outlet should be about right in here somewhere. Um, the problem is, is that it's uh, about a three or four inch thick intercooler. And um, this guy's not going to let it sit there. Um, I talked to the owner, he does want to keep his hood latch and stuff. So what we're going to do is probably build um, some little supports to support all this and then we'll just chop it off from here down. Um, I think I might try to reutilize this bolt hole too. I'm not 100%. Um, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, if we could mount the intercooler, use this to mount it and then maybe incorporate this into it somehow. Um, that that would, might be the best plan of action. So um, I'm gonna get cruising on trying to make something for this. I think I'm just gonna take like some bar stock and uh, bend it and maybe go like that or maybe come out out here and run around and bend up. I'm not 100% sure on what I'm gonna do with it. I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna see how it lays out. Um, that's the, the downside to this stuff is, um, you know, you might have it in your head one way, but it might work out a little bit better as you start fooling with it. Um, so I'm gonna start bending, like I said, a piece of bar stock and kind of see where it lays out. Probably not gonna record it because I don't know, you know, exactly what 100% what I'm doing. But what I'm gonna do is is bend something up, um, and then we will. Uh, I'll catch back up with you and I'll kind of show you where I'm at with it, hopefully. So let's get job. Okay, so I think I got something figured out. The first part, um, there is a bone pile. Uh, so. There's uh, the uh, bad ideas. So this is the one I think I'm gonna wind up using um, or utilizing somehow, but what I did was just uh, marked it out four inches here, four inches here, six inches here, six inches here, eight and a half in the middle. I bent this offset, just kind of found an angle that looked good. And then I pulled the whole thing out of the bender, flipped it around and bent this offset exactly the same, which gives us a little four point saddle. Um, and my plan here, is to it's hard to do one-handed but um it will probably work something like that um and then we'll we'll chop off this lower section underneath the bar stock and then i might add another one in there too because i want something to hang the intercooler off of um the only weird thing that i'm finding right now and i kind of caught this early on is that um this center line for all this is not the center of the truck um, I don't know if you can see the throttle body poking up over there, but the center of the truck is actually about right here, which puts me in a predicament. Um, I don't want to line the intercooler up with the center of the opening because then it, it would look, it would be off an inch from the outside of the truck. You know, once they put the grill and everything on it, I want the intercooler to be center of the grill and all that. So I'm assuming the grill is center of the truck. Um, so. It might look a little weird when I start doing this. I'm not sure exactly if I want my bracketry to lay out center of the intercooler or center of the truck. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. It's just me being fucking nitpicky. Um, but it might look a little odd until we get everything up there. You know, it might look off center. I know it's definitely gonna look a little odd with the radiator back there, but I didn't wanna put the radiator center of the truck because I wanted the, all the fins accessible. I wanted the air to be able to get to all the fins. So. Um, the radiator is where it needs to be. The intercooler is just going to have to sit offset from the radiator. But once you get the grill on there, it'll you know it'll look right, and that's the main thing. Is we want it to look right from the outside, um, and we want 
you know that portion to be center um, so I think for the sake of keeping everything kind of pretty I'm probably gonna do all the brackets center of the intercooler um, which would be center of the truck which will means which will mean the brackets kind of look offset until you get the intercooler on there but you know what what can you do I, we, we can cut the truck in half and move the motor off center <laughs> um, that's uh that's where I'm at with it. So I'm gonna clean this up. I'll probably record some of this stuff. Uh, I'm probably gonna bend another one of these two. I'd like to do two of them. So I'm gonna clean it up, probably bend another one. I'll time lapse all that. And then uh, we, uh, we'll see where we're at. Maybe we can start welding on the intercooler. So it's been about four hours. Um, I changed the plan just a smidge, uh, but not too much. Um, I'll show you what I got going on. Don't mind the mess. It's a fucking war zone in here right now. Um, alrighty, so this is what we got. Um, what I did was I took a piece of flat bar. You can see it up underneath there. It's hanging out way over here, but it runs the whole length of the front of the truck. I'm probably gonna cut it down. I just wanted something to build off of. I don't like welding to uh, the chassis if I don't have to um, So this is all removable, you know, you got two bolts that are rib nutted there Then on the back side I've got little um, counter sinks for so it'll sit flush up against the chassis not sit on the rib nut um, Same thing over here, and then I've got my piece of uh, rod that I bent and runs around and then um, I Added this this plate just to get more surface area to weld to um, because this uh, this body material is a pain in the butt to weld to and it never likes to take um, as you can tell See how cruddy that weld is Versus um, that weld underneath it, you know um, Because this was you know nice metal to nice metal and this is that old shitty ass uh, Body metal they use recycled metal um, But there it is. It's pretty sturdy um, It's not going nowhere. I can pull the whole truck by it. Not that I would want to but we're still we're gonna make it sturdier so what I'm wanting to do now is I'm going to take a piece of bar, um, make an anchor point here, come out, offset, run along here, probably tack weld along here, and then come back and offset back in. That'll give us a good place to mount the intercooler with the way everything's worked out. And uh, then we can probably come in and put some cool little supports, make it all look, you know, aeronautical and shit. <laughs> so, um, so that's where I'm at with it. Um, I figure I'll give you a little rundown on bending this rod. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, haven't used this bender a whole lot. Um, that's why you saw the bone pile earlier. Um, but what I did was I've drawn it all out. Um, I want a four inch from the anchor point. I want four inches, 36 degree bend, eight inches, another 36 degree bend back in for the offset, 24 inches, and you know the same on the other side. That way it's another four point saddle. Um, but this is it right here. Haven't bent it yet. I got two chances to hit this. Uh, I got one other piece of stock this long, and uh, fucking Lowe's was out of it. So, uh, Team Home Depot, Shades, if you see this, uh, you, you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> but uh, I got two chances to hit it. I've already marked this. There's my four inches, eight inches, 24 inches, eight inches, and four inches. I know you can't see the marks, but... So I'm going to go ahead and bend one and start cruising and uh, I'll pick back up in a second and we'll see if I fucked it up or not. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, I got jiving last night and uh, didn't stop to record. Uh, um, I got the uh, intercooler radiator, not radiator support, intercooler uh, hood latch support thing almost done. 
Um, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out so far. Um, did not hit the uh, the bend first try. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, I had to go get some more bar stock. Um, but it's fine, uh, you know, you, you don't always hit it first time. Uh, but this is where we're at with it. So this is it. Uh, down here, I uh, just took some C channel, cut it at an angle right there, drilled a hole in it, and put a little notch in for the uh, you know the bar stock to ride in. I got it welded on the top. Once I pull it off, I'm gonna weld it on the bottom. Um, then uh, you know this was the piece that we were looking at bending. Uh, just got it welded on. Um, and then I took two of these, which are actually these angles right here that I messed up um, from another piece, and then uh, welded them on there for right here. And you'll see kind of what I got planned for these and why these are here. Um, but so far, it's super sturdy. I mean, you can pull the truck with it, uh, which I know it doesn't mean a lot to be able to pull the truck, but it's uh, super sturdy. Um, so I've got four of these guys right here. I took all four of them, laid them flat in the bender, and bent them all at once, so they're all the same. Um, and my plan is, is uh, I've got to cut them down, but I'll have one welded right here like this, and then another one welded over here, like so. And then I'll be able to put a piece of plate back here, and that's what our intercooler mounts will mount to. Um, so... My goal was to try to at least get the intercooler. Actually, my goal was to get the most of the cold side done this weekend, but it's not gonna gonna work out that way. Um, this is let's see, 12, 13. This is like 20 hours of straight work right here. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, you know when when you're OCD and you try to get everything perfect, it just that's that's how it works out. So, um, I'd like to go ahead and get these, all these little pieces of bar stock welded in. It's Sunday. Um, it's early Sunday. Um, before I leave here today, I want to try to have the intercooler mounted. Um, if not, the elbow's welded on it. But, uh, we'll see. Um, so, let's get cruising. Alrighty, so I got um, the support all done. Um, well, it's, it's all tacked together, it's not done. Um, and I got the intercooler kind of mocked up. Um, I just took it back down because I need to do uh, all the welding on the support first. That way if there's any little twist or, or you know, any anything moves or warps just a smidge, um, I can still make sure everything's square when I, you know, actually tack up the intercooler and stuff. So this is it as of right now. Um, I got my little brackets. This is what I was talking about we were gonna do with the L's and the uh, mounts. I've got a nut uh, welded to the backside and then this is our intercooler mount right here. This guy will get welded to the intercooler. Um, same thing over here. Like I said, you can tell I, I just got it tacked. Um, I need to finish welding. I need to weld a little bit right here. I need to weld all this up. Um, get to the backside and then weld all this up um, and I also just realized uh, the owner brought the uh, bumper by um, We're gonna have to make a little tab right here to hold the grill um, That was on the radiator support. But that's no big deal. We'll probably do that after the fact um, But I'm gonna try to go ahead and get all this welded up and then um, we can you know Put our mounts back on here mock up the intercooler again and go ahead and tack it into place um, I'm also going to put a mount on the bottom of the intercooler that runs down to the factory um, radiator support right here. So uh, I'm going to get jiving on on welding, and um, it's already late. It's Sunday. Uh, I would like to get the intercooler up there and you know permanently in place, so that way I can figure out the angle on the elbows and stuff. But I don't know. We'll see if it's going to happen or not. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time. Okay, guys. Uh, so. It's been a couple days, it's uh, Tuesday. Came out here last night and uh, killed myself till about 8.30. And then uh, back tonight, it's shoot, it's about eight o'clock right now. 
Um, that's 7.30. Uh, so I got the intercooler completely mounted and it was the biggest pain in the ass in the world. Um, welding to this fucking intercooler, it was a goddamn nightmare. I'll admit, I'm not the best at welding aluminum, um, but I can weld it. Uh, you know, a little bit of playing around and, and normally I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. This thing was a nightmare. Um, there was just crap boiling out of it. Um, every weld I tried to do just turned to shit and it was the most frustrating shit in the world. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've thrown half the shit in my toolbox at least twice over the past two days. But it's done. The welds don't look terrible. Um, I mean, they're, they're there. Um, they're, they're, they're kind of hidden, but they, they don't look that bad. Um, it's just so goddamn frustrating. Uh, so here it is. Um, I've been just blowing it going, like I said, trying to get done. And um, I got a little hole popped right here. I'm about ready to start mocking up my elbows to go in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hole saw this out. It's gonna run right beside the support. It's gonna be damn near perfect. It worked out perfect. Um, same thing over here. I've got a mark right there. You probably can't see it, but uh, for this guy. So, um, since I haven't been recording like I'm supposed to be, uh, I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse and uh, I'm hoping tonight I can get these elbows at least tacked on, if not welded on. Um, this guy is probably wanting his truck back, so I need to hurry up and get done. Uh, but that's where I'm at with it, so I'm gonna keep cruising. Alrighty, uh, so uh, yet another night did not go as planned. Um, it's about 10 now. I uh, did not get done with what I wanted to get done. But there's always tomorrow. Um, uh, still in the same shape it was when you last saw it. Uh, but I spent the last hour and a half um, grinding the edge off of these you know the the uh uh the rolled bead i guess you'd say the bead on the end uh where the uh coupling would normally sit um grinding it down and and uh grinding like a 45 on these cast elbows that way uh it gives me something you know when i weld them to the intercooler uh probably gonna hit the intercooler tomorrow with a flap disc and try to bevel it down like that too um but that's it for tonight, so I'll catch y'all uh, this time again tomorrow. Alrighty, so uh, it's the next day. Um, been hustling for a little while now, so I think it's about 6.30, um, 7, somewhere in there. Uh, I got the intercooler um, in tanks kind of buffed down, uh, you know, the, the little bead roll for the for the charge pipe. I got rid of it and then uh, chamfered it down. Um, on both sides, you know, I stuffed a bunch of shit inside the intercooler so nothing would get in there. Um, but this is what I'm working with right now. I'm about ready to tack it up. Um, I just wanted to show you how pretty this looks before I fuck it up because as bad as this intercooler was to weld to on the sheet metal, I can only imagine what the fuck the cast is gonna be like. But, gotta do it either way. We'll figure out a way to make it look pretty even if we gotta grind the shit down when we're done with it. But uh, here it is right now. Um, I have both elbows welded or uh, you know chamfered and ready to go all dressed up so uh, I just need to come in here and tack this one up real good and then do the same thing over here on this end um, you know get it on here get it kind of clamped up there where it'll hold it and then tack it up and then uh, I will probably go ahead and start welding it um, if I can get it knocked out then all I got to do is a couple little cuts on the charge pipe uh, from the intercooler to the throttle body and that, that side will be done. Obviously, I can't do the other side yet until I get the turbo mounted, um, but it would be nice to have a nice, you know, to be able to jump from here to going straight into doing the hot side. Uh, so, hustling, trying to get done. Um, I've got to get home tonight at a decent hour so my lady can come in here because I guess shit at work tomorrow. Uh, but that's where we're at. So, I'm going to get to tacking. Alrighty, guys. Uh, it's the next day. It's Thursday. Uh, it's about 9.30. Um, I have not recorded any of this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really just trying to get done. I, I thought I'd be further along than I am right now. Um, 
it's kind of frustrating. Uh, so recording slows everything down. Anyway, you wouldn't have got to see anything other than me get pissed off at cast aluminum. Uh, uh, it um, it actually didn't go that terrible. Um, it just, oh man, that's welding that shit was a pain in the butt. Um, they're not the greatest looking welds, but they're um, nice and deep. Uh, they're penetrated uh, and they'll hold. So, um, and uh, you know, it's not. They're not absolutely just butt ugly. Um, they're not, you know, bird shit or none of that. Um, and then I started mocking up the uh, charge pipe to go into the throttle body. Um, obviously, can't do the turbo side, and I don't have any of it welded up yet. But this is where we're at. Ugly ass welds. Um, and this is the charge pipe. Uh, I just got it, you know, PET taped together now. Um, nothing crazy. Uh, I thought about coming straight out and going straight up at the throttle body, but I just like the way it looks better, and you know, it's not going to make that much difference spooling. Um, so my plan is is to come out with this guy and kind of throw like a weird little 45 on it and shoot right down through here. Um, I need to stay out of the way of the power steering hoses. Uh, this fella had shoulder surgery and he need, he needs his power steering, so uh, we need to make sure that's all still intact. Um, but that's where we're at with it. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run home and edit this video so you should see it later on tonight or when you see this this is earlier in the day um, If you want to support the channel uh, go to www.megaspool.myshopify.com uh, pick up shirts and stickers um, if uh, uh, If you like what I'm doing here uh, press the like button subscribe help a brother out um, and, um, you know, uh, go like, uh, Nugs Instagram, it's Nuggets World 808. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all in a couple days.